Now to this. She went from planning Christmas to planning a funeral. A local mom says her 12 year old son is dead because of a TikTok challenge. And right now she has a warning for all of us. Winnie Dorch with the story you'll see on Just One Station. This bright and upbeat little person, 12 year old Tristan Casson, is now dead. His mom says all because of a TikTok challenge called Blackout, when someone holds their breath or suffocate themselves until they pass out. These kids and the social media, they take stuff and they don't know the severity of it. It was Tuesday night when she left the house to complete some paperwork nearby. It wasn't too long before she noticed her children were blowing up her phone. She answered, not knowing what she was about to see and hear. He like, Tristan's dead, Tristan's dead. And I'm like, what, what are you talking about? And so he turned the camera around and I could see Tristan's face and like his lips was blue. Richmond Heights police found him unresponsive in his home just before 930. He was taken to the hospital where doctors told Taylor Davis her son was gone. We're sorry, mom, but we did everything we could, but we couldn't bring him back. Police are investigating Tristan's death as a suicide, but Davis says she doesn't believe her son wanted to take his own life. I just couldn't wrap my mind around my son doing something like that, and he's always on TikTok. Always on TikTok, learning new dances, having fun. This time around, she says he fell victim to a dangerous trend. He had an excellent day on Tuesday and was looking forward to Christmas break and Christmas. I said, that's not a kid that doesn't necessarily want to be here and that's unhappy. Davis hopes her son's story will help save heartache from another family. TikTok challenges that they may not know about. I'm just trying to really just spread awareness and let parents know about it because I didn't know. She's now resting in the fact how many lives he touched in a short amount of time as she walks through the healing process. He's not here physically, but he's still here. And that makes me feel so much better. In Richmond Heights, Winnie Dorch, 19 News.